Hey everybody, it's Kevin Ho here and we are over here at Fair Oaks and 22nd Street and we just wanted to walk you towards uh, a listing that is coming soon from one of our colleagues at Vanguard. But I also wanted to show you this super charming neighborhood. Fair Oaks is just one of those special streets. I mean, look how beautiful that house is and gosh, look at that. It's a Victorian that's slightly different because you have a front porch and you've got other homes that just have ornamental details. Take a look at that. And then you have that intermixed. You've got your mid-century apartment buildings and you've got just a really fantastic location. Next door to this house that we're gonna see, we're seeing number 54. It's under renovation, but let's take a look inside. So we are here at number 54 Fair Oaks, which as you've seen, this street is lovely. I love the mix of redwoods and palm trees. Yes, I agree. And this lovely Japanese maple anchors this front entryway, which you've got this lovely Zen-like, probably is Zen-like, oh look, there's a little Zen thing, Zen-like feel, because you've got the nice bonsai there, you've got the little statuary, and you've got just a lovely home. There is parking, which is rare in Fair Oaks, parking in the backyard, it's a back parking pad, but let's go in. I love this ornamented entryway, bright, happy yellow door. And you first come in, you get this nice, sweet bay window here. Some detailing here. And take a look here. Back to that Japanese maple. There's that mid-century building. But over here, take a look. It's just really wonderful. There's Dan, our listing agent. He says hello. In his way. <laughs> I do that. Fireplace here. I love this. It's a really great home in terms of the details. I love the light fixtures here from Minka or whatnot. Nice island here. You've got tile backsplash, cook gas cooktop here, the double oven back there. You lay dishwasher. You've got the Hans Grohe uh, faucet here. We have used that in different listings as well. And the light bulb they filled in to be more utilitarian. You've got the greenhouse up here, but you've got the sort of a what you call it? The shelves. Laundry can go here, but this is where it gets really special. I quite like the use of wallpaper in this home, which you'll see. You've got the half bathroom here, pretty nicely done. The porcelain sink uh, with like the open metal there. And then you've got this. Here, this is a great area. This is the back deck. You've got jasmine here, nice pot of plants, potted plants. And then you've got the little parking pad there. You could put a little automatic gate opener. Let's go down. It's really nicely landscaped. Got some nice stonework here. The two palm trees. I mean, yeah, you, you are in a mild climate, tropical climate. Love the bamboo, love the oxalis there. And take a look back. Now, your neighbor is doing some renovations and expansions up there. So, not exactly sure when that'll be done, but it looks pretty far in. Let's go under the deck. I actually haven't seen this yet so now in theory since this deck is already here you could now it's a papal could maybe try to expand it but you've got the basement here oh, here's their laundry here and then you've got the foundation you got the old growth wood as you can see which is very nice um you've got the wood embedded into concrete and it looks like a concrete foundation which is also really reassuring now of course you're here on Fair Oaks, which is just a great neighborhood. And the nice thing is that it is elevated. It's not in the part of the mission or uh, of Soma, for example, where there might be a, you know, a risk for liquefaction or whatnot. This is, I think, on solid ground. I could be wrong, but your neighbor's got a nice concrete foundation there, nice concrete footing here. So it's, it's sound, you know, you've got the ornamental house and you've got the modern engineering. Now that is gonna be annoying for a little bit, for sure, but they'll be done soon and we'll go inside here, away from that. Ah, here we go. Let me close this up here so you can see that cuts that noise away. So let's go upstairs. And up we go. So what I like about this space is actually right here. I love this bathroom. 
nice detailing, traditional and transitional yet modern at the same time. Same thing here with the shower. You've got the grogi here. You've got the filler, you've got the hand shower, and you've got the overhead shower. Love the marble, uh, marble here, love the niche. You've got the Schluter and detailing, and this really fun, but conservative wallpaper. You can see the old school banister and the lower things. Now, the Victorians, they were shorter people. Now, let's go to the front. Take a look at this. Pretty nice. I love this bright, happy room. You've got your bay window, window seat as well. Ceiling height here on this floor. Let's take a look. It is 10 feet. That's very really nice. Again, nice millwork around the doors here. Let's go over here. So we've got the bathroom. We've got one room. We've got this other room here. Nice guest room as well. Recess lights. Tall ceilings. Nice window out here. Let's see and see how it goes. Wow, look at that view. That's a pretty nice view. Backside of, uh, of Noe and backside of Diamond Heights. Lots of storage up here. I love these sort of classic details. And then one other room that's over here. And this is kind of a perfect office or Zoom room. And you get the pitched roof above. It's a sort of a perfect look from home. Let's see, 13 foot eight at the very peak here. And then this is the backyard. Now that it's gonna be going on for a little bit, but they look like they're pretty far in. This is where we were at before. And then that's Queen, which is a nice private alley where you can pull in right off there and park there. Um, you could, I guess, conceivably try to add a garage, but that would be difficult, especially on this street. I think it would be better to park in the back. And um, yeah, it's just a very nicely done, well-presented, well-prepared home in a fantastic location from our colleague, Dan Slaughter here at Vanguard. And thank you, Dan, for letting us see it. Sure. I will sit along to folks, and I will see you next time. Oh, and you're going to sell it.